deserves it. But for any a good God, has he been good to you? I can speak for myself, but has he been good to you?
I like that. I'm going to read that for you, and then we're going to get to our scripture this morning. That's right. Go ahead. Psalm 17 and 5 says, Hold up my goings in thy paths, mm. that my footsteps slip not. You're going to see how that ties in with what the Lord Amen. gave us for your Amen. vision this morning. Amen. I want to take you to the book of 1 Peter. The 5th chapter. Verse 8 and 9. First Peter chapter 5. Verse 8 and verse 9. We want to encourage you as your thing says to keep stopping this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is busy and he wants you to slow down. That's right. Come on. And I want to encourage you this morning to push on. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. We ask amen. 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 Wait, it's all right. Man, the reads, be sober. Be vigilant. Yes. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, mm -hmm. knowing that the same affliction that are accomplished in your brethren in the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you for honoring the word of God. Amen. 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 This morning, I want to give you a Controversial title, but it really don't mean that much. I want to tell you this morning to stay woke. All right, that's it. All right. <laughs> stay stay woke. Right. Stay, stay woke. woke. That's it. Stay woke. Mm. That term, I don't want to deal with the term that ignorant people use today to generalize people that don't fit their agenda, but what it really meant when it first came out is be alert. Right. Mm -hmm. Be open. To receive the truth. That's it. Don't let people brainwash you. Mm -hmm. Don't be carried away with all of this foolishness that people are always trying to send your way. Amen. Always be alert to the truth. Stay woke. Come on, Reverend. Amen. I got a few years ago, if I get personal, some thief somehow got my credit card, a uh, debit card number. They began to use my card number while my card was still in my pocket. They began to make small transactions somewhere in Tennessee. And they were trying to test the limit. They, might, they, they were trying to see how much was there. So they go from the gas station to yeah. the grocery store, yeah. Walmart to yeah. the convenience store. And they were trying to take little nibbles and if I had not been alerted, uh -huh. catastrophe would have been on my doorstep. Yes, See, I had signed up with my bank to give me an alert. Yes. Every time there's a transaction above one dollar. <laughs> so now I know when somebody's trying to spend money. And because I had been alerted, I was able to call a bank and put yeah. in to the thief. And that's scary. Yeah. I believe y'all know where I'm going. Yeah. Stay woke. Mm -hmm. Stay alert. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, we have someone who will alert us to every attempt that thief calls the devil tries to use. Mm -hmm. To steal you away. Yeah, yeah. That's someone is called the Holy Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm afraid, Bishop Howard, that there are a lot of people called Christian uh -huh. that's not set up for alert yeah. because they ain't got nothing in the bank. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. They're churchy, but they're really not born again. Yeah. Yeah. You can be churchy and not have a Holy Spirit. But when you have the Holy Spirit, he'll put you on alert yeah, yeah. when the thief tries to take from you. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people in church houses all over this country that are fast asleep. Mm -hmm. The devil is having his way with them. Wow. 
So I'm even in the pulpit. Fast asleep. And the enemy is taking nibbles out of their spiritual account. First Peter 5 and 8 said, be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Let's break this thing down this morning. I'll try to hurry up and get you over to your favorite restaurant. The first thing that I want to give you this morning, Satan is roaring. And I don't want us to overlook this detail. That the enemy is roaring. And this thing blessed my soul as I was studying this text. What people go wrong trying to understand this scripture is that they think lions roar when they hunt because of the way they misread this scripture. They, 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 they parallel the roaring lion with seeking whom he may devour. But, but get this, lions do not roar when they hunt. Uh-uh. Come on. But you understand that the lion's roar is so loud that he will burst your eardrums. The lion's roar is twice the tolerable level for the human ear. A lion can be heard roaring from over a mile away. And if a lion roared at everything he was trying to catch, everything he's trying to catch will get away. You don't see lions chasing slow animals when you watch the nature channel. They chasing animals, they can show them get up there. But the lion got to be sneaky when he's hunting. Yeah. He's hunting gazelles and antelopes and zebra yeah. and wildebeest. Yeah. And if you roar before he pounced, they have an opportunity to get away from it. Yeah. Two reasons why the lion roars. He roars to communicate with the other lions in his pride. Number one. Number two, and here's what I want us to get. The lion roars to announce his territory. Yeah, yeah. So that when you step over, when an animal steps over into the wrong territory, that lion's roar is supposed to scare him off and let him know I'm the boss right. yeah. of this here territory. Right. Yeah. And see, 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 as, as a, a roaring lion, what the scripture is trying to let us know that the enemy is not afraid to let you know where he is. Yeah. The enemy feels like this is his territory because even the Bible calls him the God of this world. And it went to his head. That's why when he was trying to tempt Jesus in the wilderness, he said, if you bow down before me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. But yeah, yeah. Roger Jr. said, y'all must have forgot. The earth is the Lord's, the fool is down of the world, and they that dwell down in. The enemy thinks you in his territory. The scripture called him the God of this world. And so he roars to let you know that he's here. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's not hiding. Yeah. People hide. Right. People are sneaky. Yeah. But the enemy is in your face. Yeah. And still he's able to get folks. Yeah. That's true. Every time you turn on the television, you hear him roar. Every time you see drug activity, you see hear him roar. Every time you see people, amen, living in sin, you hear him roar. The crime rate going up, you hear him roaring. The devil is not hiding from you. He's letting you know you in his territory. Yeah. Come on, come on. He's bold enough to tell you he can still get you. Come on now. Mm. Jesus. Satan is roaring. Yeah. He's roaring in the streets. He's roaring in the government. Mm -hmm. He's roaring in the church. Yeah. And he's not afraid. Well, yeah. Second thing I want to give you is actually to ask a question. How can a roaring lion catch and devour prey? All right. mm. Since you say that a lion, if he roars at his prey, they can get away. Mm -hmm. How, since he's roaring and he's not hiding, can he still catch his prey? Because they're unaware and unalert. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're drunk mm. and asleep. Yeah. Mm. That's the reason why Peter gives this encouragement to be sober yeah. and vigilant. Yeah. Because those who are not sober mm -hmm. and those who are not vigilant, 
they're being devoured. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. When you're unaware and you're on alert, he'll catch you. Because you're not looking for him. You don't have the Holy Spirit to alert you that this is the enemy attacking. People who are unaware and on alert will sit up under false prophets. Defense. Mm -hmm. What it said? 
So Benjamin, adversary of the devil, as a warrior lion, walking about, seeing whom he may, may, whom he may devour, who resists steadfast in the faith. Yeah. <laughs> New Living Translation says, stand firm against him. And be strong in your faith. Yes, yes. Stand firm yes. against him. Yes, and be strong in your faith. Yes, right. yes. Recognize that in Ephesians chapter number 6, when you look at the whole arm of God, there's nothing for your back. Uh -huh. Because it ain't meant for you to run away from the devil. Right, right. See, people who are firm in the faith, I ain't scared of the devil. He tells you to stand against him. Mm. Tells you to submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Uh -huh. I'm trying to let you know you can't run from a lion. Right. Come on. You gotta stand against him. Yeah. You gotta stand and fight. And the only way to do that is to stand firm in your faith. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Break this down this morning. He said, Whom resist steadfast. This thing right here tripped me out. I ain't going to try to get too scientific, but this word for resist, the original word is where we get the word antihistamine from. Mm. Those who know about antihistamine, you, you, you got allergies. Yes, yes. And when you have allergies, you take that antihistamine so that your body doesn't have a crazy reaction. That's right. That way you can walk through an environment that will usually drive you crazy uh -huh. and it don't affect you. Stand firm on your faith. 
told you that he didn't tell you to run away from the lion. He tells you to stand against the lion. If I can remind you what Paul says in Ephesians chapter number 6, 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That thing right there, let me, let me, let me tell you, I will tell you this, that, 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 that the reason why you have to take flow maids, build a drill, uh, is because on. when you breathe these things in, your body tries to fight it off by itself. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the reason why you break out in hives, yeah. why you have itching, itching, itching eyes and running nose, yeah. because that's your body trying to fight it. Yeah. Yeah. But your body can't fight it. Yeah. So you got to have something working within yeah. to fight it for you. Yeah. To keep you from fighting your own might. That's what an antihistamine does. So what he's telling you is that you can't fight the devil in your own might. But you got to be strong in the Lord's might. You got to put your faith in Jesus. And let him fight your battles for you. Even when you don't have money in the bank, I'm still believing that God is my ATM. Even when you feel like you're lonely and depressed, you remember my faith said Jesus is my yourself, church. A lot of us are fighting losing battles because we try to do it ourselves. But you got to stand firm in your faith in God because he's already defeated that life. I ain't even gonna go through no more than those, amen. Amen. The Bible tells me, praise God, that there is another life who's already defeated this roaring life. And his name is the Lion of Judah. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Ancient of Days. He's the word made flesh. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's the one who died for me. And he's the one that got up for me. Conquering death, hell, and the grave. He's already defeated sin. And if you got the line of Judah within, then greater is he that is within me than he that is within the world. If you got the line of Judah within, then you are more than a conqueror. If you got the line of Trust. When you try to win you over with some sweet sounding doctrine and everybody run into that church 
Tell them Paul said, if anybody else preach any other gospel, let them be a curse, even if it's an angel. Jesus. Jesus. Use the word. Stand on the word. The devil got all kinds of tricks. He don't want to see you succeed. I'm here to tell you, I've seen what God can do. Yes, sir. When you just stand firm in your yes, faith. Yes, sir. Amen. Got a buddy that planted a church in Pebble. Got six church members. Yes. Got the last week bishop to feed all the firefighters and police officers in Pebble. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yesterday they gave away 40 free turkeys. Yes, sir. Six church members. Yes, sir. Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. We love you. 
We give your name praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.